We are told that there was a very beautiful daughter of a king, Fiona, but she was given a curse, because of which she would remain a very beautiful princess during the day, but at night she would become a demon. She was imprisoned in a tower. Fiona thought that if a prince would come, save her, kiss her, then she would be free from here and her curse would also be broken. Years go by, Princess Fiona is waiting for her prince, but no prince comes to save her. King and queen wanted to save their daughter, so the queen takes the king to a magician. We find out that the king did not want to come here because he also thought that a prince would definitely come to save Fiona. But the queen thought that nothing like this could happen in real life. The king asks the magician that can you save my daughter? The magician says yes, but this is a very big job and in return you will have to give me your kingdom. Hearing this, the king was very angry. He refuses to listen to the magician. Then the magician talks to him and says that you love your kingdom more than your daughter. The king was emotionally blackmailing the king and the king was about to sign his contract. Meanwhile, a soldier of the king tells him that his daughter has set Fiona free. But he is not a human, but a demon named Shrek who is also the main character of this movie. Hearing all this, the king breaks the contract and the dream of capturing the magician's kingdom is broken. It is shown that Shrek and Fiona got married and after years, many children were born in their house. We come to know that this whole story that was being told was not anyone else, but the magician was telling it. He was actually sitting in a library and was tearing this book in anger. Then, the owner of this library comes here who is a wooden statue. The magician asks him, do you want to be a human? But this boy may not like what he said because he has thrown him out of here. Now we are shown Shrek. Shrek was spending his life with his three children and his wife, but not happily because he had to do all the work of his children all day, like feeding them milk, changing their diapers, and he did not like all this at all. Fiona and Shrek live in their house, but because today is their children's birthday, Fiona and Shrek decide to go to the palace of the king and queen with their children on their dragon because the children's first birthday was to be celebrated there. When we reach here, we see that the preparations for the party are in full swing. Everyone is very happy here except Shrek, who has three children. As he was taking care of these children, he was moving forward. Here a man stops him and says, please shout in anger. My son wants to see you shouting. Shrek says that I only shout when I am angry. He moves forward and now puts a cake in front of his children. The cake was eaten by three little pigs instead of his children. Someone was pushing Shrek from here, someone from there. His children were also crying. He gets so angry that he shouts loudly and sees that this time no one was afraid of his shouting. In fact, everyone was happy and clapping. Meanwhile, another cake comes for Shrek's children, which Shrek was about to break and go from there. Fiona comes here. Fiona tells him that whatever you have done is not right at all. Shrek tells him in anger that I am tired of this life. I miss my previous life a lot when everyone was afraid of me. I used to do whatever I wanted. I used to live my life at will. Fiona explains to him that Shrek, you are misunderstanding. Your life today is much better. Today you have everything. Your good friends, your wife who loves you very much. Your children, a complete family. You were alone before, but Shrek does not listen to him and leaves from there. We see that the magician was also listening to all these things secretly. In the next scene, it is shown that Shrek was going somewhere. On the way, he finds a broken buggy. Maybe he had an accident. Someone came under it too. It was no one else but the magician who Shrek helps. The magician tells Shrek that you have helped me, so in return I can give you a lift. That's why Shrek sits in his buggy. They both talk a lot here. Shrek tells him about his old life where everyone was afraid of him. The magician says that if you want to live your old life, then you can live. I will help you in this work. I will just ask you for one thing, one day of your childhood. And in return, you will have to sign here on this contract. After doing all this, everything changes there. Shrek reaches a new world where he sees that now everyone was afraid of him like before. He was also having a lot of fun. That's why he bothers people even more. And then he goes to the jungle and enjoys his day. When Shrek goes to the jungle, he sees his wanted posters there. He didn't feel bad seeing this, but there were posters of Fiona too, i.e. his wife's wanted too. He was very shocked to see this. As soon as he sees all this, he runs back to his house, but his house was completely destroyed. There was no Fiona there, and in the meantime, someone had taken Shrek away from here. It is shown that he is being taken to jail by a donkey. In this donkey, he is the same Shrek's talking donkey. When Shrek tries to talk to him, 
The donkey was not even recognizing him. The donkey tells him that I am meeting you for the first time. Shrek was not able to understand all this. He asks the donkey where are you taking me? Shrek tells him that you are being taken to a kingdom where the owner is a magician. That is, he is talking about the same magician with whom Shrek had contracted. Here Shrek sees that all Shreks like demons are made to work like donkeys, and he is taken to the same magician first. Seeing Shrek here, the magician is very happy and tells his magicians, look, this is Shrek, because of whom all this has been possible today, because of whom I am the king of this kingdom today. Now Shrek was understanding his tricks little by little. Shrek says to him, why are you doing all this? Then the magician says, you gave me permission for all this. Remember, you did not sign that contract. The same magician says one more strange thing to Shrek. He says, the day I asked you for your childhood, I asked you for the day you were born. And I killed you as soon as you were born. And the world in which you are standing today, there is no existence for you in this world. And if you are not here, then you will not be able to save your wife, Yuna. He also tells Shrek that he has also made a contract with the real queen of the kingdom and killed her. And he tells that Shrek will also die forever after today. He only had 24 hours. Knowing this, Shrek gets very angry. In anger, he fights all the magicians here and takes the donkey out of here. He sees that Donkey is still not able to recognize him. Here Shrek gets a doll of his daughter which he was holding and crying. Donkey was looking at him with surprise and says to him that I am seeing a demon crying for the first time. In response to this, Shrek shows Donkey the contract that the magician had made with him. He was going to tell Donkey the whole story. At the same time, seeing that contract, Donkey says that this magician is very clever. He also trapped you in his contract. He traps everyone in his contract. Donkey also tells Shrek that this contract can be broken. He quickly folds this contract and it was written there, true love kiss. It meant that if Shrek kisses Yuna, then all his curse, all his contract will be broken. Seeing this, he is very happy and now takes the donkey to save Yuna. But now as soon as he reaches the tower where Yuna was trapped, he sees that Yuna is not there. Instead of Yuna, he got a Yuna handkerchief. Shrek gives this handkerchief to Donkey and says that smell it and take me to Yuna. Smelling that handkerchief, Donkey reached the jungle where he sees that Shrek did not bring Donkey to Yuna. There was some food here. Shrek forbids Donkey to eat this food. But Donkey does not listen to him and eats this food. And according to Shrek's thinking, this was exactly a trap in which Donkey was trapped, although Shrek was also forbidding him. Now, in order to save him, Shrek also goes inside the same trap. And they both reach inside a whole colony of demons like Shrek. Seeing Shrek, they all catch them. And then the leader of all of them comes here. It was none other than Yuna. Shrek is very happy to see her. As soon as Shrek goes to Yuna, Yuna does not recognize him at all. She had to save her people. Why did she come here? Then Shrek stops her and says that everything will be fine. Don't worry, Yuna. Believe me, if you kiss me, everything will be fine. After that, when Yuna kisses him, nothing was right here. She says that these are all stories. I was trapped in that tower for thousands of years. No one came to save me and I saved myself. After Yuna left, Shrek was wondering why the magic didn't break. Then he remembers that Yuna kissed him in anger. Kissing him with love will fix everything. And now there is very little time left. Thinking this, Shrek now goes to the palace himself and tells the magician that I have brought myself here, so I am the rightful owner of the deal of life. The magician says, okay, okay, so tell me what deal would you like to make with me? Shrek says, okay, I will make a deal with you that you leave all the demons. And because Yuna is also a demon, she will also be saved. Shrek and the magician had made a deal, but after that, the magician shows Shrek that Yuna was not freed from that deal. Because Yuna is not a complete demon, she is half human and half demon, a half demon. Now all the ogres were saved, but Shrek and Yuna were in the magician's captivity. It was going to be early in the morning and Shrek would disappear from this world forever. On the other hand, we see that Shrek's donkey and that cat were planning to save Shrek and Yuna together. They put all the demons like Shrek in their plan and it is shown that the magician was going to kill Shrek and Yuna through Shrek's dragon. And in the meantime, a very big ball comes here. This ball was made up of all the demons which had a cat and a donkey in it. As soon as this ball opens, there is a commotion in the palace, because all these demons start fighting with all the forces of the magician. And Shrek and Yuna also fight with the same dragon that the dragon was going to kill them. They catch this dragon and tie it to each other. And now it is shown that Shrek has started disappearing because 24 hours have passed. 
While dying, he could not do much, so he tells Yuna how he has three children in his second life. Yuna really likes what he says and while dying, she kisses Shrek. Shrek was now completely missing and the sun had risen. Fiona sees that even after the sun rose, she did not turn into a beautiful princess. In fact, she has become an ogre. This meant that her curse was broken. That too because of Shrek. But did Shrek's curse end with him? It is shown that suddenly everyone in the world started disappearing one by one. Not only this, but this whole world had also disappeared. And now Shrek was being shown in his world. At his children's birthday party. This meant that he had also worked on Shrek. And Shrek's curse was also broken. Instead of dying, he came back to his real world. He comes to this place and shouts very loudly. And here everyone starts laughing at his shouting. He believes that he is in his own world. Here he sees Fiona and hugs her quickly. And he also hugged his children quickly. Because after what he had just seen, he started feeling the value of his family. Now all this was going to stay like this. Shrek celebrates his children's birthday together. And happily this story ends.